the XFL kicks off this weekend. And with that being said, I wanted to do a preview for you folks that are watching for every team that will be playing this weekend. And today's team is the DC Defenders. Now, before I jump into the video, I would just like to say a word to my sponsors uh, and thank them. Uh, but the problem is I don't have any. So with that being said, it means the world to me that you chose this video because, again, I'm not really making any money off this. I'm doing this in my own free time. So I'm very thankful you're watching. But it would mean a lot to me if you just hit the subscribe button and bump the like button because it'll definitely help me out and I would appreciate it. With that being said, let's get right into this episode. Who are the DC Defenders? The DC Defenders will be playing at Audi Field, home of MLS's DC United. Their, co their head coach is Reggie Barlow. Their, their offensive coordinator is Fred Cass, and their defensive coordinator is Greg Williams. Yes, that Greg Williams that is famous for, you know, Bounty Gate, or whatever you'd like to call it in the NFL, in 2009. Now, names you might recognize on this roster, De'Eric King, Raquel Armstead, Eric Dungy, and Jordan Tayamu. Three of those guys I listed are quarterbacks, and this is a very deep quarterback room. But Reggie Barlow thinks that the tight end group that they have on this team is the best tight end group in the entire XFL. They have Trey Berry, who's 6'6", Ethan Wolf, who's 6'6", and Briley Moore McKinney, who's 6'4". Massive size. All of these guys are very, very athletic, so it'll be interesting to see how they're used. And this is a team full of athletes, because when you look at the quarterback room, you have Jordan Tayama. Tay Tayama was considered by many, and including myself, to be the second best XFL quarterback in 2020 and was one of the best last year in the USFL. Then you have De'Eric King, who is a, a great athlete at Houston, and then he, when he transferred to Miami, he played very well there as well. And then Eric Dungy, who in his time in the NFL played wide receiver and tight end, but in college he was Syracuse dual threat running quarterback that, you know, he made Syracuse pretty good. Their running back room is deep as well. The first overall pick in the draft was the D.C. Defenders for the XFL this year, and they took Abram Smith over a lot of other names. And I, th I think Abram Smith could do very, very well for the Defenders. They also have Raquel Armstead. But the problem is, in a, Freddy, in a Fred Cass offense, there's going to be a lot of different running backs in the use, but I expect those two to be used the most. Now, at wide receiver, they have a pretty interesting wide receiver. He's undersized. He's 5'8". But in 2020, he averaged 23 yards a catch for FCS champs Sam Houston State. That season really took place in the spring of 21 due to COVID, but it's technically the 2020 season. So because it took place in the spring of 2021, he wasn't eligible for the draft. So because of that, with a lot of time getting passed, people kind of forgetting who he was at undersized, he went undrafted. He played at Washington this past year, but did not get a single real snap. And now he's in the XFL. Now, on the defensive side, they have some pretty good impact players. They have defensive lineman David Bellamy. Uh, he had three sacks in his pro, de pro debut last year in the USFL. And before that, he had bounced around from team to team to team to team and never saw any action. But in his pro debut last year, he played very, very well. I expect him to do the same this year. And then at linebacker, they have an every-down linebacker who has the speed that is good enough to go sideline to sideline, and that's Farad Gardner. I expect him to be really good on the defensive side for the D.C. defenders. And I also expect D.C. defenders to have a very raucous atmosphere. I mean, everybody I feel like that watched the XFL debut uh, three years ago now remember the debut that it was because the D.C. defenders were the first game on the slate. And they played an awesome game. I can't remember if they won or lost, but the fans were amazing. There was that long beer snake. I'm expecting the fans to be just as entertaining because they're just excited to be at a football game. That's all I have to say about the DC Defenders. I appreciate you watching. If you can bump that like button and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.